Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, you know, some of the people in this room are some of my best friends. And, um, and some of the people that, uh, you know, I've had my whole career with from start to finish. Um, I first want to say uh, that, you know, this has been a great ride for me. It's been really fun, and um, it's been the best years of my life. I love this university. I love people here in this department, and um, this has been really difficult for me. Um, this university saved my life 10 years ago, and so I have nothing but great things to say about being part of a small part of such a big thing. I have worked for three presidents, five athletic directors, and I've had to train every single one of them. Uh, I've gone to school for just about every day of my last 54 years, and that includes my two-year stint in nursery school. So I don't know if anybody's really, uh, you know, as lucky as I've been to have such a great place and such great people to work with uh, during my career. And you think about uh, the past, you really don't think about wins and losses and, you know, those kinds of things. I think about the people and the relationships that I've had a chance to be a part of. They've been just tremendous for me. And um, uh, I think that the one thing that cancer has taught me is that time is really the only commodity that we have. Time is really all we have. And what you do with that time is the most important thing. And so I've worked really hard, uh, especially in the last 10 years, to be the best Debbie Ryan I could be at everything that I did um, because it was, you know, really I was gifted with a period of time that I didn't know I was going to have. I take a huge sense of pride in being a part of the, you know, the, the ground floor. And I wasn't really a part of the real ground floor. I was just a part of the ground floor as, you know, when I came in in the 70s. So um, I'm just real proud to be able to say that, you know, I was a part of it. and. Um, that I helped some things along the way and that I helped to um, develop some really, really great young women who have gone on to um, their own journeys and their own lives and um, to their own successes. But yeah, I'm real proud of the fact that I was born when I was born and I was able to, I wasn't able to reap the benefits of Title IX as a player, but I was able to reap the benefits as a coach. Yeah, my entire adult life has been spent here giving uh, and, and I'm proud of the fact that I am a giver, and I think that means a lot. Um, but I just, you know, I, I guess that's for me to figure out, and I'm sure I will. I had such a great, great time, and um, like I said, I've, um, I've enjoyed every single minute of it. The first thing I'd like to say is that uh, what you saw uh, in the previous 30 minutes or so, I think is just a, a snapshot of uh, one of the uh, most courageous, uh, one of the classiest, most dedicated, uh, passionate and compassionate uh, professionals, uh, colleagues and friends uh, that I've ever uh, been around. This is a person who has had as much of an impact on this institution uh, has had as much of an impact on this university community uh, as I think arguably anybody. She talked about training uh, other coaches and ADs. Uh, I will take her training well uh, and be happy to talk about uh, the great run that she's had, the great career she's had, and the impact that she's had on this, uh, uh, on this program, that she is the face of the program. But uh, more importantly, the impact that she's had on this institution uh, and on basketball generally, not just women's college basketball, but basketball. Uh, she's one of a kind.